Yo, it's good, ready gang, it's Jane, ready back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna bring y'all along for yet another shopping vlog, cause like, why not? You know what I'm saying? We all just shop and get fly anyway, so why not bring y'all along? So, I'm gonna tell y'all more about it on the way there of where we're going. But it's only right that first I show y'all the fit, cause we looking crazy today, bruh. But as y'all know, I got the Charles Jeffrey Liverboy hat on top. You know it's almost Easter time, so had to do that. Got the Aquila glasses on, I don't know. Yeah, I showed y'all these, right? Yeah, right. So right here, y'all haven't even seen this yet, but this is a little nice little mohair sweater by Brain Dead. So watch out for this one in the next video, but minimal jeans, shirt and tie, by the way, minimal jeans. And then, you know, I had to do the Zilly's own feet. So let's get it, man, we out. Yo, so I also had to go ahead and stop and get gas, which by the way, this is like the cheapest gas in LA right now, which is pretty freaking ridiculous, but I did get my car back. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I was driving a Dodge Charger for like a month or so because somebody rear-ended my car, but I got it back now, so let's fill it up. Bro, it's already at $30 for five gallons, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and get me an electric car. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Now, where we're about to go right now is a Jaded London pop-up in LA. Now, Jaded London is a London-based brand, but for, I think today and yesterday, they have been out here in LA to have a little pop-up shop. So that's where we finna head to, finna meet the team, see what pieces they got for me to grab, but that's about it, man. I'll catch y'all when we get there. So I'm doing a voiceover so I don't get copyrighted, but this was the first men's section right here and I instantly gravitated towards these parachute pants because they've been new on the website and I've been wanting to grab them, so seeing them in person was fire. Um, they have a couple of different racks right here. Of course, Shorty gets in my way. I was going to go to that one, but we're going to slide to the Varsity Jackets, which apparently aren't even on the website yet, but they have those. They have the Buckshot Denims, I believe it's called, and it's some more distressed stuff, and then a nice little display display of all of their pieces with everybody in the background it was a crazy turnout by the way but yeah man a couple of different sections you got some cut out sleeveless stuff right here you got some t-shirts and you know saying different denim sets and stuff like that but overall crazy pieces bro pull it up grab some pieces i'm probably gonna show it to you guys in the hall Matter of fact, I'm gonna just show them in this video, I think. So, yeah, man, about to go ahead and head out. I don't know if I'm gonna go to another store, but maybe. All right, so we are back at the crib with it, and I did want to show y'all everything that I picked up because I ain't gonna lie, these pieces. Whew. Fuego, bruh. So we're gonna start off with the parachute pants that I feel like a lot of people are gonna start wearing, to be honest. They have a couple of different colorways in this. I think they have a black pair, a brown pair, this one, and I feel like they have an olive color. I could be wrong, I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that, but for sure I know they got these white ones and I went ahead and picked them up and you can see it on my Instagram. So if you're watching this, go right now and comment I'm from the video. Y'all already know how we get down. Smash the like button too, go run that picture up. But um, these are the pants that I'm wearing. I think I went with a size large in these pants. So they fit really, really big, baggy, and drapey, bruh. And I'm absolutely obsessed with this baggy pants fit lately. So these are really right up my alley. Honestly, I should have grabbed the black pair and the brown pair while I was there, but didn't know that I would really end up wearing them this much. And I say that because I'm actually recording this a couple of days after I actually picked this stuff up and I've worn them twice already, which is, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of clothes, so for me to go to something often is saying something. Now, you can also see me wearing this varsity jacket right here in the yellow colorway. Now, this, for show, they had it in black and they also had it in red, but I don't have any yellow varsity jackets and I feel like yellow, especially like this mustard, 
type of yellow is really a standout piece in my varsity jacket collection so this was probably this was my first option and then i think after this i probably would have grabbed the red and then after that the black but for sure went with the yellow but it has this rodeo grand prix um type of logoing all over it so you have the 88 patch on the right side you have the rodeo on the bottom right and then you have some more text on the left and the bottom left and like this cursive i already have a jacket or a varsity jacket from Jaden London so I easily knew I could pick this one up I also went down a size in this jacket as well I think the other varsity jackets that I have from them are size large so this one I actually went with a size medium and I feel like it still fits very very nice I'm probably going to start going with mediums from them from now on so a bunch of very nice details one thing you don't really see in a lot of varsity jackets is this stripe across the top right here so i feel like that leather stripe kind of adds a more race type of jacket feel to this so you have that you have the patches on the sleeve of course and then on the back side you have the rodeo grand prix championship 19 i think 13 does that say or 1919 I think it's, I don't know what that is. That's a very odd, like, cursive um, number. But, yeah, you do have the graphic on the back. And then one thing that I feel like was a cool detail is that they put live fast under the collar in the back. So I don't usually see people doing too much with the collar, especially when it's, like, the folded one. So I think that's pretty fire as a detail. But other than that, it's a very, very clean varsity jacket. So next up, I got these pair of shorts. And I don't know what it is, but... But they've been absolutely killing it with the bottoms from Jaded London. Now, these shorts right here, I think, are called the Trail Cargo Shorts. And honestly, the materials, the length, and just the overall details are immaculate on these, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like, they almost remind me of like some Rick Owens shorts, which I think there is a specific pair. I can't quite put my finger on which model it is from Rick Owens, but they really do remind me of that. And I think it's just because of the details and how they fit on body. So these are kind of a longer style pair of shorts. I think I went with a size medium in these as well. So they have these cargo pockets, but the way that they're made is this bottom cargo pocket. The inside actually drops below where the actual short cut stops at. So it kind of has like an extra flap that kind of drops a little bit longer you guys will be able to see on body but i think that that detail is crazy they also have a double pocket which come on bro like why like if you got cargo shorts the whole point is pockets so they went crazy with the pockets on these joints of course you have the front flat but overall like the color materials the way it's made fire bro so moving on you know it's getting hot outside so the boy had to go ahead and grab his fair share of sleeveless t-shirts so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with this one right here now i can't remember the names of all of these but this shirt right here has a fire graphic in the front it actually says no cover and i think it's kind of like obviously a rock inspired graphic tee so a super faded graphic on the front all kind of blends in with each other and it's all just like this gray tone so i feel like the whole washed out type of band tee sleeveless cutoff is definitely right up my alley will probably pair with like the black denim leather pants that i got so i think that this is going to be fire so moving on we have another one of my favorites and honestly i'm gonna just stop saying that because clearly all of this stuff was my favorite because i picked it up when i went to the shop but i did want to say that this is still up on the website so if you want to get this i'm gonna put up the name i can't remember it for whatever reason but you should still be able to get it some of this stuff is sold out so i do apologize i still did want to show it to y'all but um this shirt right here honestly has a fire graphic i'm a huge fan of this style of print now i can't remember quite what this style is but the fact that you can kind of like make out a silhouette but it still kind of looks like an all over print somehow, I think is really crazy. So um, they have like these raw edge type of cut off on the sleeves and on the bottom, you also have this little like target on the bottom, which is, I don't know, it really doesn't stand for anything, I don't think. 
Unless this is part of that like Elysian collection, I think. But anyway, nothing on the back. So definitely really, really clean. Obviously, again, goes with any type of black wax pants that I'd be wearing. So that's right up that like goth alley for sure. And then I went ahead and grabbed this one because it's a lot more simple than the other two, I feel like. So you just have this text across that says, be the energy that you want to attract. So went ahead and grabbed that. Cool little saying, you know what I'm saying? Because we putting good vibes out to the world. So um, definitely went ahead and grabbed this. I think this is actually in a size large. I think the rest of those are also in a size large. So if you need any type of reference, I'm about six foot. Went with a large in the tops, um, medium in the shorts, medium in the jacket, and then a large in the parachute pants so that is actually all of the pickups so i do really appreciate y'all for watching i don't think i added anything else to this video so this should be the end um go ahead and go down smash the like button bro we trying to grow on the channel so do that subscribe if you are new and i'll be back to you guys with more videos man peace smoke clearing out of room smelling like the woods she gonna tell me about a pool then i tell her good luck i'm gonna set it on before i was never reading